So, hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Today is Thursday, October 17th. It's almost the end of the week and I was like, I haven't vlogged anything. Um, so, it's okay because we have a busy day today. So, I woke up like tired i've been up for a minute my voice is just like still kind of going so i woke up tired and i was like oh maybe i can't but i kind of have a lot of stuff to do today so i'm going to a concert tonight lucky days concert um and i was really honestly like i was really excited for it in the beginning because marco mckinnis was opening for him and like i was just like really excited to see him but he had to cancel his him being on the tour so now I don't know who's opening for him anymore but we're gonna go see Lucky I mean I like his music I just don't know any of the words and I kind of know that like, I don't like going to concerts if I don't really know all the words but we'll just go cuz I already bought the ticket and just you know to get out so and it's Thursday so it's basically my Friday so I should enjoy it um, so before that's tonight and I'm I'm actually gonna miss class for it I have planned on doing this but since I kind of didn't want to go anymore I was like eh, maybe I'll just go to class but um, yeah so before then I have I have two classes today though I have my portfolio class and I need to take photos of my art before I go so that is at Three, so I need to leave at 2.30. Um, so before I take photos, so look, it's like, that class is from 3, and it'll probably take like 30 minutes because we just meet and talk over it. So I'll be done at like 3.30, and the concert starts at like 7, so I'm going to head towards the venue after that class. So I should be ready. <laughs> I need to like get ready before then, right? So... We need to do all this stuff before 2.30. So, since I've decided to go to the concert, I'm like, wait a second. I'm going to have to do my hair. Um, I really should have did it last night. I was just so tired. Uh, so, I'm about to restyle my hair. I think I'm going to do, like, a flexi rod set. But, like, the flat one, not, like, a wand curl look. Like, a ringlet look. And, of course, I'm going to film it. Um, and then... I need to take the photos and then get ready. I think I can do it. So I wanted to film and get ready with me for the concert, but if that kind of, if like a formal get ready with me might take up too much time, I might just kind of include it in the, in the vlog, which won't be so bad. That'll give me some content for the vlog. So yeah, we'll see. Um, so I think I'm going to do this whole video on the camcorder and I might, if I include the concert we get ready with me in the vlog, I might even take the camera with me so I can actually kind of, I don't know, get some kind of cool clips because I really like filming on the camcorder. It gives like a different look and I can kind of play around with um, just like the feel of the video and you guys like it too. So that's cool. I really appreciate that. So uh yeah let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair I'm gonna film it so um, I will be back to y'all when I have braids my head flex the rest of my head something but I took um, the clip-ins out so I had braids underneath so the braid out looks not terrible but then I have some like straight pieces so I'm gonna turn this into something so let's see what we can do Okay, first I wanted to make my bed and stuff though. That's why I really turned on the camera. So I'm going to make my bed real quick and set up my lights. Okay, y'all, so I'm outside. I just finished my hair. Um, it's just got to dry, and I'm going to sit under the dryer a little later. 
but I'm outside to take the photos. I'm on my front porch. Looking like this. <laughs> Flex rash just looks so silly and they honestly hurt. But I'm gonna just set the camera up and y'all can see. I'm just photographing some of my work for my portfolio. Cause I'm, I have to show this to my professor today. So I need to hurry up. <laughs> long at all I'm out of breath but um I just finished taking the photos so I'm about to put them in my um on my hard drive and pack my bag for class oh so it'll just be ready so I can just start getting ready now but yeah, that didn't take long at all I don't know why I was worried about that all right so hey y'all i am on my way to class so i ended up running out of time um my hair took was taking a while to dry i did add a lot more product this time so it took i sat on the dry for about an hour which is normal i was just trying to rush it so um i didn't get to like finish it so i just kind of put it up into this pineapple type thing and we'll finish it later so i just needed to you know get to class on time and then and when i get back and it it'll only be like 30 minutes because it's more like a meeting type thing um i'm basically free for the rest of the day and i don't care to be like early to concerts so you know i can just chill and, and like um comfortably do my hair because I hate rushing doing my hair nowadays like I just want to be able to like take my time and make sure it turns out right so I probably even put one a flex ride back in because I accidentally I took it one down because I was taking them down as I was like under the dryer because I kind of overlapped my hair so it wasn't getting dry and then so I took one down and then ended up rotting it up the wrong way so it's kind of like all twisty and turning but anyways yeah so hair is almost done um what else was i doing yeah i got the school work done i didn't know what i'm gonna wear i could not figure it out so we'll figure that out when we get back but um yeah i'm on my way to class and we'll see what happens next It's a shame for you, it's a shame for me I just, um, I didn't just actually, I've been home for a minute, but I made it to class or to that meeting I had with my professor and it was quick it lasted like less than 30 minutes i did my hair turned out pretty good if i do say so myself i was like when it was um when the pieces weren't really drying i was like oh this probably won't turn out that good and then when i was taking it down i was like this looks like because on the inside the pieces are pretty straight so i was like this looks like a terrible like hairstyle but it came together once i like undid all of them so I was just trying to pick it out because it's really like 
hanging low and stuff. So I'm trying to like pick it up because I want it to be like more big. But I always like want the biggest hair on, on day one. But yeah, I think it'll be cute. Um, and then it makes me want to try it on wet hair just so I can get like more of an afro-ish look. Because like this is, but I want it to be like, like it's still pretty straight from like the blow dry. But um, yeah, I wanted like an afro look. So I'll try to pick it out some more, but... Now it's about, it's 6, 5.52, and um, the concert, the doors open at 7, but I'm honestly not in a rush because like, I'm on, I honestly kind of don't want to go, <laughs> just because I'm like, I don't know, I just kind of don't feel like it, but at the same time, I really feel like going, so I guess I just, I'm going to make myself go, because I know I'll be sad if I don't. So I'm going to, my hair is done. I would just have to wait to take this out to see what kind of outfit I wanted to wear. Because I set something out, but I'm like, I don't know how my hair is going to turn out. Like, am I going to have to wear it up? I need to pin my bangs back because I can't see. But So I need to pick out an outfit. Don't know what. I needed to wash clothes, honestly. But I have so many clothes. I need to get rid of clothes. I need to get rid of my clothes. A lot of my clothes again because... I constantly feel like I don't have anything to wear and that's not good because my when I my closet is like packed to the brim I even have my closet is like a like you can walk in it but it's not like a walk-in closet it's just like a little closet but then I have a, a, a I have a rack that I rolled in there and I have stuff hanging on that as well so when it's full like it's full I can barely fit in there so I'm going to try and figure out what I want to wear and um, I'm going to get ready. I don't think I'm going to do a get ready with me, like a concert get ready with me. I was going to film a separate video, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> I've been doing so many makeup videos, I kind of want to take a break. But um, yeah, so I might come back when I'm fully done. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But now I need to find something to wear. What is my hair feeling like? I found an outfit. So I'm about to put on a little bit of makeup and I'm going to try to hurry up so I can get some lights and maybe take a photo. But we'll see. We'll see.
think I talked to y'all it was Thursday hold on there we go it was Thursday and I was putting on my makeup going to the concert but that ended up failing really badly so I finally managed to like leave the house get out and I'm driving down there it's only gonna take 17 minutes to get downtown I'm like okay 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 cool and I knew I was gonna have to like look for parking cuz I know at the house of blues there's like not really any parking kind of like next to it there's like some of those like downtown parking lots but the that one that's specifically next to the house of blues is under a bridge and it's not lit and um i was by myself so i was like okay let me just find something in like the little um like sh uh, what do they call it it's kind of like a restaurant area it has lots of restaurants and stuff there wasn't anything and then i'm noticing like there's like a lot of people especially for a thursday night i'm like it looked like saturday so i was like oh my gosh there's like so many people and then i realized that i remembered that my professor term told me earlier that day that Trump was going to have a rally in Dallas, like in somewhere else, in like Addison or Louisville or something like that. So once I saw the people and they all had their signs and they were selling t-shirts, everybody had on their Trump 2020 shirt, I was like, oh, it's like they're having a little gathering here downtown. So I couldn't find parking. They were everywhere in the streets. Um, people had their confederate flags hanging, hanging out of their trucks and I was just like this is just not meant to be every step of the process of trying to go to that concert um, just wasn't lining up correctly so I just turned around got myself some dinner and went home <laughs> but like literally it all like everything I just wasn't even feeling it before I had even left the house and then I didn't even really want to go as much anymore once I found out that Marco McKinnis wasn't going to be there so I listened to signs and so I just left especially having to if I was with someone else it would have been way better but since I had to do, I would have had to do all that by myself walking far distances at night with who knows probably racists everywhere um and me and me looking the way i do i just did not want i didn't want to deal with that by myself you know who knows who knows so i left and um that was the end of my thursday night so then friday i what did i do friday i think i just got some work done uploaded a video and stuff saturday yesterday i went to the mall and stuff with my mom and today is sunday it is almost i think it's like four or something and i'm supposed to have this vlog up today so i'm gonna try to make that happen um but i wanted to like make brownies and i thought that i would share that with y'all it just got kind of got later in the day but i'm still gonna do it and this video will probably be going up late if it's too late i have another video upload it's already uploaded i uploaded monday's video already um, so I was just waiting but it was gonna bother me if I had the videos out of order because I've kind of been on a roll with like video 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 vlog you know so now all of that I've recapped you guys um, we're gonna make vegan brownies and I'm gonna do like vegan brownies with a vegan mousse and I think I'm gonna put like cookies on the inside and probably make a vegan caramel sauce sounds like a lot I'm the type of person who has like a huge sweet tooth I love sweet things and I can eat them at any time of the day and I like chocolate some people like are disgusted by chocolate and like really sweet things I'm that's not me so we're about to cook I'm gonna start with the brownies first. Oh wait. I'm using 
using Earth Balance Original Vegan Butter. So this one calls for butter and egg, but I just skipped the egg because I just do. So I'm just going to add a little bit of milk. Finally got metal straws. So I feel just <sighs> so amazing. The next thing I'm going to make is vegan whipped cream. That's gonna turn into vegan chocolate mousse. So I got coconut milk, but in the can. So hopefully it's like the thick kind, because they didn't have coconut cream like the people on the internet said. Um, and then I got some organic powdered sugar and a hand mixer and cocoa powder and some vanilla. So they said they wanted it to be like chilled for overnight, but I just got it today and so it was kind of thick. But I'm thinking if I whip it hard enough, it'll turn into something. And I'm eyeing everything because uh, I don't know. Powder sugar. I'm going to add a little bit at a time. Okay, so after freezing it overnight, and then um, I just let it thaw a little bit, and then I was able to blend it. It kind of turned into mousse, but it honestly tastes like chocolate ice cream. So I think you have to use the coconut cream, not the coconut milk, because I'm going to have to keep this frozen. But it tastes great, and then it tastes like this tastes like chocolate ice cream, and this the brownie is really good. So like mixed together just tastes like ice cream and a brownie which is amazing so turned out great but um i don't think i could let this like sit out it would just kind of melt back into what it was before